Hello. How are you? It's an extra story time. <sighs> I miss Heather. I'm with the Children's Museum of Green Bay. And each and every Wednesday, I read a story that you out there watching picks. And tonight, at the museum, we, well, all this month at the museum, we are learning about things that bloom and grow. And one of my sweet, kind friends sent me a book request that I wanted to read to you. And I have all the other books picked that you also picked out there, kind friends. Um, but this one I wanted to add, and I loved it so much. Um, it's called, Have You Ever Seen a Flower? And because we're talking about things that bloom and grow and we're thinking about spring, really wanted to share this book with you. I had never heard of this book before and I'm so excited. If you have a book request, please go ahead and send me a message at Books with Miss Heather on Instagram or Facebook or at the Children's Museum of Green Bay, Instagram and Facebook. I get all of those messages um, and I love to find out what you're reading. So if you have a copy of Have You Ever Seen a Flower? It is written by Sean Harris. Please go grab a copy. Go grab it. And if you don't, you're going to want to add it to your library. And then once you get it, watch this again and read it with me. Oh, you know what? There's a button down below with a little hand with a thumbs up. Please like this video. Yeah. And you can subscribe. Actually, if you're subscribing, you were notified that there was a new story tonight, weren't you? Mm hmm. Tell your friends. It's how we are allowed to continue doing this. So please go ahead and like the vid video and um, again, follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. We'd love to hear from you. Let's get started with tonight's story, our extra story. Before we get started, kind friends, have you ever seen a flower? Mm -hmm. And have the flowers ever been exactly alike? No. No two flowers are exactly alike. Kind of like you and me. No two people are exactly alike. But they're all beautiful in their own way. And so are you, my sweet kind friend. I think you are amazing and beautiful and unique. It's a big word. What does unique mean? It means that there is absolutely, positively, no one else in this world who is like you. So I want you to be your own self, no matter what, okay? Because we like you just the way we are. Just the way you are. Mm -hmm. Let's get started with tonight's story. Have you ever seen a flower? So one of my most favorite things about this book is when I open up the front cover, look at all of this beautiful color beautiful color inside. It's my favorite. Hmm. There's a cover here. Doesn't look like there's a much color on this page though. Let's see. Let's see what the story is about. Have you ever seen a flower? Looks like there's a little car on the road here driving. <gasps> I mean, Really? Still driving here. Hmm. All of these bright colors. Wow. <gasps> Seen a flower? Oh, my friends, look at this beautiful, beautiful illustration or a picture. It's actually a dog, and they're running. There's flowers. I mean, way down in the clover, with your face down in a flower. Have you ever seen a flower using nothing but your nose? Where's your nose? Breathe deep. What do you see? Smell the flower with your nose. Ooh. 
Raindrops made of honey? The knees of bumblebees? A fancy lady? Dancing babies at the Royal Jelly Jubilee? Have you ever seen a flower so deep you had to shout, hello, and listen for an echo just to know how deep it goes? Wow, that's pretty deep. And did you wonder if you wandered down between its golden columns and into its corridors who you might meet? Maybe a tiny queen. Have you ever felt a flower? What do you use to feel? Touch? Yeah, your hands. Do a flower's petals, vine, feel like the vines in your skin? Actually veins. I said that wrong. You know what, my sweet friends? I just made a mistake and that's okay. Can I read it again? Can I try it again? Okay, good. Have you ever felt a flower? Do a flower's petals, veins, feel like the veins beneath your skin? I don't know. I would have to try it. Have you ever prickled your finger or fallen on your knee and seen the brilliant colors of your life. Mm. <gasps> this one's just all red. It's really pretty. <gasps> life is inside you. It's inside you and it's inside me. Life is all around you. Now, put your hands on your belly. Okay, good job. And say, this is my stem. Good job. This is my stem. Now, sip a drip of water and stand very still. Feel it slip and trickle all the way down your roots. All the way down your roots. Do you feel yourself growing? Do you feel yourself stretching toward the sun, ready to burst? And bloom. Have you ever been a flower? I mean, really been a flower? The end. What did you think, my sweet friends? Very pretty book, just like flowers, right? What was your favorite part? It's really fun to imagine being just like a flower. Do you remember where the flower stem was? Yeah, right on your belly. And next time you see a flower, Try and use your nose to know what kind of flower it is. What a beautiful book. And I want to thank my sweet friend for suggesting this to us. We've never read this book here before, and it's a new book to me. And I love 
learning about new things and sharing them with you. So thank you so much for reading with me and for sharing this book title with me. If you would like to share a book title with me, please go ahead and do that again on Instagram and on Facebook. Make sure to like the video down below. I will see you next week when we have a new book for you. Until then, make sure you brush your teeth, put your jammies on, tell your grown up that you love them like crazy and um, they love you like crazy because you're so amazing. Yeah, you are. Okay, have the sweetest sleeps, my friends, and I'll see you next time. <gasps>